you know, I just realized that I made the, uh, the PLL All-Star Game update two weeks ago, and I, I thought it was going to be, you know, I thought it was going to be last week that I was going to do that, but it turned out I did it two weeks ago, um, just so I could get that out of the way. And so, naturally, <laughs> I've added a video, you know, this is a little bit impromptu, um, because some stuff has happened in the past couple weeks. Um, again, the World Cross Games, they were, they, they happened. Um, I've explained my grievances and, you know, my, my likes and my dislikes. I mostly dislike the idea, um, but we're not going to discuss that here right now. What we are going to discuss is everything else. Um, PLL is coming to Connecticut today. They are in Connecticut and they'll be at Frisco in the 100 plus degree heat next week. Um, uh, we'll talk about you know f uh, another Frisco you know related thing um, on Sunday, but uh, PLL coming to you know Connecticut and stuff like that and everything like that. It's going to be interesting to see how everything goes um, because a lot of guys are injured. Grant Amit's still out with a lower body injury. Um, now for the Atlas, now Trevor Baptiste he did play the All Star game, but he has a lower body injury. I don't know what's up, but uh, Mans is injured. Uh, and then you got um, and then you got Marcus Adler injured, Jerry Ragonese injured for the Chaos. I mean that that's not a good sign there. Redwoods they're still kind of banged up a little bit. Um, the Water Dogs are definitely banged up, like. Dylan Ward, Mikey Schlosser, those two guys are out. Those are big time losses right there for the dogs. And then um, I think I think that's it. You know, the Whips got a couple injuries, and yeah, that's about it. Um, like the Cannons and Chrome, they don't have any injuries as of right now, but I mean, that could all change in a heartbeat. I mean, they, they, they're not listed on the injury report for this week. Um, but there's that. The other big thing is that there are a couple of new investors in the PLL, which is absolutely fun to see. Um, Kevin Durant, his, one of his, um, his company is in it or in it to win it the WWE as well is in it to win it with the PLL so that is huge news right there for the PLL huge news um, I, I we, we're gonna talk to WWE later on you know um, sometime it'll be Thursday because there's a lot to talk about with the WWE as I get ready for my SummerSlam preview because I do, you know, about four WWE videos a year. Uh, but, you know, as of this time, you know, th these are two entities that you definitely want put money in to make your product successful. So that's a good thing. That is a definitely a good thing. Another big thing that has happened is Athletes Unlimited. You know, you got, you know, you got your Charlotte Norths, you got your, uh, uh, Really, Charlotte North is the only uh, women's lacrosse player that I know of. You know, really, and truly, um, I I lost my train of thought because I mean, a lot of the media attention has been on her. You know, the past season. I mean, the whole year it's been on pretty much on her. Um, Athletes Unlimited. Their four week season is starting. They've already started this week. They started on Thursday night, and you know. I got into a little bit of a, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't, I, it wasn't necessarily an argument, but it was more like I was trying to state my thoughts to um, one of the, uh, another big lacrosse um, account, I, I forgot, I forgot what the actual account name was, um, but I, if you see on Twitter, you'll see I left a comment, and it was talking about, you know, um, you know, TV deals and stuff like that, which I'm big on, I am a I follow that stuff religiously, um, so, and, you know, uh, Athletes Unlimited is getting a lot of, a lot of, you know, games on television this year, a lot of their games are going to be on television, um, 
you know, the 20, what, 24 games they have this year. Most of them are going to be on TV. You know, they play three times a week. You know, it'll be the Thursday night usually, sun, Saturday and Sunday. You know, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see how Athletes Unlimited navigates their season. You know, um, they're playing, I forgot where they're playing, that they're playing at uh, a big lacrosse complex and everything like that. So I think I think everything's gonna be fine. Um, you know, what would make it even better is you know we actually have you know like teams, but I mean, athletes unlimited is more about the player aspects. Which, you know, don't get me wrong. I love I love the players. Don't get me wrong. I love players, but I, I, I'm a team focused person. You know, I'm always about the team. So that's why I haven't gotten into athletes unlimited at all. Um, so. Another big thing, you know, uh, speaking of teams, you know, Merrimack, they were the only team, aside from Hartford, which is, that they're, they're remember, they're moving down to D3, but Merrimack, they're joining America East, and that will put America East up at eight teams for next season, which, uh, that should be interesting. Um, remember, Merrimack ain't eligible for anything right now until their transition is up. So every D1 team in the NCAA has a conference home. Good for them. Good for Merrimack. Uh, good for the other NEC teams that were able to, you know, find a home. And, I mean, it just is what it is. So, you know, uh, remember, we're only going to have one playing game next year in 2023. So I think that's going to be... Uh, it's gonna be something. I, I I don't know, you know, because I mean I don't I don't keep track of lacrosse schedules like I do college basketball schedules or college football schedules. But uh, we'll be on the lookout, you know, for some stuff. Cause I, I think things are gonna be interesting next season. You know, again, there's a lot of NFL you know, guys that are either being re-signed or they're signing new deals now too. So just keep that in mind as we talk about the professional. Box Lacrosse Association. I believe we talked about this before. Uh, they've announced eight cities. They've announced their eight cities for their first season. Binghampton, New York. Charlotte, North Carolina. Elmira, New York. Hampton Roads, Virginia. Manchester and Springfield. That's in New England. I presume that'll be like, you know, who knows where that, at? who knows where they are, you know, actually, where those two cities actually are. Somebody tell me uh, someplace. And then, you know, you got Syracuse, New York, and Trent, New Jersey. I think I think this is a, you know, good start. You know, a very good start. I you know, um, it, it's it's gonna be interesting to see how the PBLA goes about things, because remember, um, you know, there there are former, you know, NLO guys behind this. And I totally forgot who at this moment because I, my, my, I did not write that down um, but you know there, there have been other lacrosse le uh, box lacrosse leagues in the past that have tried to do something you know to try to you know either I, I'd say maybe more towards um, you know not compete but supplement the NLL and you know add some additional content but I mean, I, I genuinely don't know how this is gonna work. I mean, you know, it, it's it's gonna be interesting to see, because I mean, the NLL does need to get to 16 teams themselves. But I mean, I don't even know where to begin with expansion in the NLL. Because I mean, the 15 teams that are in the league now are pretty solid, you know. But I mean, it is what it is. So that that's that. You know, that's it for. Everything. Sorry, I haven't posted in a week. That that's just what happens when you don't have you know really any videos to post. There's no there's nothing for me to post about. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. Um, but in any case, that's another update in the lacrosse world. And with all that being said, I'll see you all Sunday at. 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 Eastern. Uh, it'll be around that time. We'll be talking this weekend in the football because we got a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss. And oh boy, oh boy, there's a couple teams we got. 
that we talked about last week that we that I, I'm gonna have to rant about them this time. I'm gonna have to really go in, go ham. This is gonna be Mississippi Raiders CIF level type rating. Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to miss this. And shout out to the new sub. Uh, thanks for coming on, and joining the ride. Welcome to Big Boy Sports. Hope you stay. And until tomorrow, see ya.